Hello everybody and make, welcome to my second video. Today I will be uh, talking a bit about the new update for KSP um, 0.15 I believe. And this update includes uh, I think objects and parts from the C7 pack and um, I've been uh, busy building a few planes and I'll just run you through all the new features of this update. Um, so this update includes uh, new fuel tanks. I'm not quite sure if the uh, no, I, I'm pretty sure the jet engines need their own fuel tanks, jet fuel, and uh, they're air breathing engines, so you can't obviously go into space, but they're still very cool. Um, except for this one, it's a new uh, engine that uh, can be used uh, as standard, although it might run on jet fuel as well. well it works on jet fuel, anyway. Um, so there's uh, higher altitude engines and obviously air intakes. But uh, so you've got your fuel tanks, your body parts. Uh, well, yeah, you get it. Um, you, it also has with uh, ailerons uh, and flaps, wings, different things. Uh, a lot of new standard parts, more than before, including uh, some cooling systems, I believe. No, more air intake kind of things, uh, RAM air intakes and s standard circular air intakes, fins and everything you need including a new uh, gear bay which I think is very interesting. Anyway, so today I'll just be showing you this model plane that I've built. Um, I'll just be using it just to show you some of the new features. Obviously you can actually still fit rockets and other things to the planes and if we actually go out here is a new space plane hangar where you can construct horizontal planes in this format. Anyway, so we should probably test this. So let's, uh, let's launch that. Aerons for required lift. And uh, it's it's not the easiest thing to fly with, with a rocket. It's, it's, it's slightly easier. Once you get off the ground, you're off the ground. And you don't need to worry about crashing into it unless you run out of fuel. But with this, um, you have to be worried about the landing gear and everything like that. At high speeds, it can be problematic. But uh, once you're in the air, it's much easier. I have actually tested this plane before, and it does fly. Thankfully, uh, my previous video should have tested it <laughs> before I uh, did that. Anyway, so we're off the ground. Ooh, no, no, we're not. No, we're not. No, no, no. Okay, okay. Um, right. So that's that's some of the problems with the gear and uh, all of the other parts of the planes and things. Um, so let's actually just try that again. Um, right. So uh, let's take off. Then, shall we? Wait for it to load a bit and full power. Not sure. As you can see, uh, the ailerons uh, are affected. Are uh, affected. Uh, this is a bit weird, actually. They turn in opposite directions. Not quite sure how that happened, but. Uh, Anyway, let's see if we can get off the ground. Oh, there we go, and gear up. Uh, it's obviously still it's uh, the G button to pull the gear up. And uh, also, with the new update, there is a interesting GUI system. If you right click on any of these things, you can access them, telling you fuel tank, the flow. And you can also disable flow from specific fuel tanks and deactivate specific engines. Um, not quite sure about all the parts that you can use with this, but engines, fuel tanks, I think you can you can uh, use. You can't uh, not many things you can do. You can control landing gear, uh, but not much else. These ram air intakes look uh, quite good actually. Um, Quite, quite uh, sort of good thing. Actually, I'll just turn this down. Right, so, um, yep. No. Sorry. Cut that. 
and uh, it's very good. Anyway, so I think uh, not to make this too long, we'll just uh, cut this now. And you can do a lot of interesting things from the new system. Uh, turning is a bit of an issue because it's not very effective. Um, but anyway, so let's uh, get out of here. Open those parachutes. Oop, no, not the gear. Let's uh, go back. Uh, going to ditch in the water. You can now place parachutes almost everywhere. I'm not quite sure about the rockets, but uh, it's still quite useful. So, yeah. Anyway, so this is my second video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And. I will see you later.